Greetings Sports DTM fans and welcome to another episode of Sports Down the Middle, the channel of undiluted sports content. Now, the Diamond League Finals scheduled to get on the way in Eugene, Oregon on September 16 to 17. And of course, we at Sports DTM looking forward to this Mount Water and Prospect, especially around the 100 meter men. It is a stack field with nine runners scheduled to compete in the finals. After looking at the current standings, we notice a few changes of the person who have made it to the finals. So the current standings are the top eight persons um, for 100 meters so far. Um, Fred Curley lead the way with 29 points. He's done it with four races under his belt. Manyala, who also did it with four races under his belt with 28 points. Simbini, four races, 28 points. Yuan Blake, uh, six races, 22 points. So Yuan Blake did a lot of running um, this season in the Diamond League circuit. Um, let's say Tobogo, three races, 18 points. Um, Kishane Thompson, two races, 11. Um, Shavon, uh, two races, 10. And Hartmann from Germany, two races, nine. So this is the standing for the top eight so far. And as you will look, the other person's tied for nine are Coleman, Christian Coleman, one race, eight, and Noah Lyles, one race, eight. And Akeem Blake, also tied with nine, um, at nine position, he had done two races with eight points. And Marvin Bracey, tied at nine, three races, eight points. So when you look at the persons who have qualified for the finals, you notice a little shake up there. Because for the starting list, remember, Noah Lyles was 9, Akeem, Akeem Blake was 9, Christian Coleman was 9, um, Marvin Bracey was 9. But all of those runners made it to the Diamond League Finals. Alright, so even though they weren't in the top 8, or you know, 3 runners tied at 9, they made it. At the expense of Fred Curley, Trayvon Brummel and Simbini. So let me repeat, Fred Curley, Simbini and Trayvon Brummel, even though finishing the top eight, were replaced by uh, Christian Coleman, Noah Lyles and the Jamaican Akeem Blake. Nonetheless, there are three Jamaicans in this finals. Akeem Blake, Yuan Blake and Kishane Thompson versus three strong American runners, Marvin Bracey, Christian Coleman, and the flamboyant runner, the world champion in the 100 meter, Noah Lyles. Of course, his season best and personal best stands at 9.83. He would be considered as one of the favorite to get that Diamond League trophy and win that $30,000. Now, who you guys have finishing second and claiming that second prize of $12,000 and the minor place is third of $7,000 and fourth of $4,000. Who you guys have is Jamaica versus USA again in 100 meter, but you have other strong persons in it. What say you with let's say Tobogo, what can he do? Running a personal best and a season best of 9.88 seconds. What kind of form is he in? Will he play upset? And uh, Omen Yala of Kenya, who so far has been losing a lot of races, you know, losing to Oblique Seville. There's no Oblique Seville in this race, but he has to contend with three Jamaica, three strong Jamaican, Akeem Blake, Yohan Blake, and Kishane Thompson. Will he have what it takes to beat the field, beat the Jamaicans and the US runner, as well as his African compatriot, um, let's say, Tobogo? Does he have what it takes? And what are your bets on Noah Lyles? Will he be able to dismantle the field and win that $30,000 comfortably? Leave all of that in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And to tell a friend, to tell another friend, tell all of them friends to come and join our channel. This has been another episode of Sports Down the Middle. Be blessed.